Hey everyone, Logan from Reef Breeders here, and today we're going to go over our Coral Box Wi Fi dosing bundle, how to install it properly, and what a dosing pump can do for your tank. First, take your dosing heads and securely put them into place. They're going to line up diagonally and snap in securely. It may take some pressure, but don't overdo it. You're going to want to make sure that they're aligned and you don't want to break the parts. Now you could also put them in the opposite orientation. Start by fixing the included mounting template in the location which you desire to mount your dosing pump. Note that this can be installed both vertically and horizontally. With the mounting template affixed, use a 332 inch drill bit to pre-drill the mounting holes. Then. Use the included mounting screws and make sure to leave some space for the dosing pump to slide in. About a third of an inch is enough. Then, center your dosing pump over the holes and slide it down gently into position. When affixing the included tubing, Make sure that the tubing is inserted all the way over the connector until it could go no further. Here's a close-up to demonstrate the proper positioning and installation of the dosing tubing. Note that it's all the way over the connector down to the center piece. When you're installing your new dosing bundle, it's important to note the following. First, your dosing chemicals should be lower than the output of your dosing pump. Your dosing pump should be positioned somewhere between your dosing chemicals and where you're going to dispense them. It's also okay to have your output in a tank above the dosing system. These can handle up to six feet of head height, so it's well within their range of capability. Step one, you're gonna to wanna to install the tubing holder over your sink. Now again, note that the output should be higher than the maximum level of your dosing chemicals. Next, you're going to begin routing your tubing. To do this, we have the included tubing, the check valves, which are also included, and a pair of scissors to help cut the tubing. So before we do our calibration, we're going to want to set our unit up just like we would have it running in the real world. So to do that, we have our dosing chemical in position, and we're going to use dosing head one as an example for setup. First, Insert your tubing firmly and all the way over the connector on your dosing container. This may take some effort and it does help sometimes to have a heat gun or a hair dryer on hand to loosen up the tubing and assist with the process. But you're going to want to make sure that you advance the tubing until it can go no further, meaning it has to be inserted all the way over the connector down to the point where the end of the tubing is touching the bottom of the connector. This is to make sure that everything is absolutely sealed and prevent air bubbles from entering the system. Then, run your cable to the input side of your dosing head. If you're having trouble determining the input versus the output side, the included stickers will help with that. At the end of your dosing line, install your check valve. Then, install two to three inches of tubing to add a water break. This will fully seal your check valve and make sure that your lines are primed. Before you begin the calibration process, 
be sure to manually turn on your dosing heads and make sure that the lines are completely full of water so that they're primed and ready to go when you begin the calibration. Once you see water starting to exit the line, that means that it's primed. So we're going to turn it off and start the calibration process. So now that the line's primed and we're in the calibration menu, we're going to go ahead and measure this in the system the way that we would have it set up normally. Once the dosing pump is finished dispensing, we're going to read how much it put out and enter that number into the app. So here we have about 9.8 milliliters, so it's already pretty close, but we're just going to put that in and make sure that everything's on par. Then we're going to repeat this process for the other three dosing heads. Now that your dosing system is calibrated, you can start setting up your daily dosing programs. We go over this in another guide video which shows you in detail how to work through the app and how to set up the different modes. To summarize, you set a daily dosage of, for example, 100 milliliters, and then you could go in and set your pump to dose at certain hour intervals. So you could have it dose up to 24 times per day, or as little as once per day, depending on when you want it to dose. You could also set your dosing pump to dose every other day, every second day, or just once a month if you wanted to. So it's a fairly versatile and customizable system. Thank you for watching. In addition to the basic setup guide that we showed you today, there are tons of custom and do-it-yourself options for hooking up your dosing system. A lot of our customers use them in a wide variety of different configurations. There's even a support forum on Reef to Reef with tons of helpful guidance and advice. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for choosing Reef Breeders to power your tank.